He loves it. He loves it. Love Shelby, we've got a problem. And so I'm like, oh, let's get it done. Good morning, everyone. I am wearing the same thing as yesterday because I just don't want to get more clothes dirty. I'm washing all my other work clothes. So let's take a look at where we left off yesterday because we made moves yesterday, guys. So we got some of the hardy board in here. We gotta finish putting that up. We finished the plumbing. We put this in place, but we are gonna have to move it because obviously we have to put drywall here, but this is awesome. So we can finish doing that today. Now I have to swap this camera battery before we get started on the bathroom for today i wanted to discuss my youtube beef that i have with another youtuber and i really just want to talk about it because i see this sort of thing happening more and more on youtube i feel like it doesn't even need to be said that what these people are doing is just not good etiquette but maybe it does <laughs> let me just explain here's the deal as you guys know i make videos about my airbnb and was very honest about the numbers and everything and another airbnb youtuber guy he messaged me about my listing and was like hey i can give you all this advice and so he sent over advice which was you know kind of nice of him to do all of the advice was just he didn't really understand the palm springs market pretty much all of it was just things that you can't do here like he would say lower your nightly minimum that actually would make me less money he said to say that we could sleep more people in the living room like legally you can't do that here that will just get you a strike it was kind of unsolicited advice a little bit but i don't know i welcomed it i was like okay cool and then he um decided to take all of that that he sent me and turn it into a video put my face and title in the thumbnail which i really didn't like he didn't ask for permission to use me in his thumbnail he didn't tell me he was doing this he was just like okay like i'm posting this i feel like it is general etiquette in life to ask someone's permission to use their face and title in whatever you're doing like the thumbnail of a video or whatever especially the thumbnail and title i mean if you're using someone's face and name it does mess with the search so if you search my name airbnb now his videos are popping up and not as much mine and that's kind of where my issue is so he did it with that one video and i thought okay whatever that's like a little bit weird but i'll just ignore it and then he put me in two more of his thumbnails using that thumbnail that the young turks used and just really i feel like exploiting me putting i feel like he's putting me in his thumbnails because he knows he'll get some more clicks from that it's a very i think kind of unflattering photo there's like flames in it it's unnecessary to put me in it he didn't ask for my permission i feel like that's messed up i would not ever put someone in the thumbnail of my video without asking them i'm just gonna put it out there that i do see it when people do that and i don't like it you can file copyright claims for thumbnails on youtube a lot of people don't know that and i haven't done that yet because it's like i don't want to take it there if i don't have to i'm just putting it out there like hey please stop doing this that should be enough i feel like legal action is not necessary i just wanted to put it in this video because i feel like people need to hear this it's weird if you use someone else's face and title in your thumbnail without permission i feel like you should not do that because it's a small world and if you continue with youtube and become a bigger youtuber you will end up bumping into them in person and they might not like that you did that okay anyway let's start on the bathroom some board all on this wall and this wall now with a hole for the shower head up nice and high so if you're tall and you're staying here you're still good to go i feel like i've gotten really good now at putting the screws in on those all right guys my dad wanted to be done renovating for the day so i'm gonna go to some antique stores take a look around i want to get footage for like a TikTok about palm springs Clothing stores here. Picked 
up some food. We'll eat out here. Okay, I'm watching a video about how to waterproof a shower right now, but I hear this cat meowing next door. It low-key sounds so much like Leo used to sound. If you guys remember that cat that we had, Leo was our Bengal cat. He went missing like a year ago, although all of us low-key think he is still alive and was like stolen or something. Cause like all of us have had a dream about Leo. Like it's just weird. I just have this feeling that he's probably alive somewhere, but he's probably not. That cat, I want it to jump over here. I want to see it. Hey guys, it's been a minute. I haven't been vlogging because I've had a headache all afternoon. I ended up going in the hot tub. Now I'm just gonna have dinner and hopefully I'll wake up tomorrow and feel good. Delicious little salad here. Good morning, everybody. I'm wearing the dress I got yesterday. I just wanted to try it on, see what it looked like, but I definitely want to get a photo with the umbrellas later because it matches. It's like a wrap dress. Love it for Palm Springs. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot here, but we've got major bathroom work to do today, so I should probably put on a different outfit. <laughs> I got this dress from H&M. They have a few clothing stores here, like an H&M, a Free People, and then another one called Blonde, which is like more pricey stuff that's really cute, um, but this was only like 30 bucks. I'll link it. I feel like it's so cute. I mean, probably not the vibe for most places, but if you're going on a vacation and then I'll go try on the other one now too. Here is the other dress. It's longer. I guess you can't really see full body, but it's giving like Cabo vacation going to dinner vibes. Like I really like this dress. Also pretty, it was like 30 bucks. Kind of hate to promote fast fashion, but um, I do like this dress and it's pretty affordable. I'm gonna bring this stuff to South Africa too, so I feel like it'd be good. All right, outfit change, check. This is my renovation fit. Let's go get to work. It really is so fun now because we're starting to get like, you know, close to things being there. So here's start of the day. We gotta do a little bit of that electrical, but first we need to move this down a bit to see where it will be. trap is that what goes in there yep yeah the so drain that, that, and the drain can fit so not a big deal no one will ever see it the old vanity was cut like that too i noticed uh-oh okay my dad just said well shelby we've got a problem well those ikea ones i had the bottom drawer was short will it well, somehow it has to come out this way all right guys i'm making a hardware store run to get some things in the meantime my dad is going to add that other outlet so we're getting stuff done but yeah we've got to get the rest of the boards so green board which is kind of a more drywall sort of thing and we need some more of that cement board and stuff to waterproof it so hopefully we can get that waterproof today i would just love to have everything ready for the tile to go because i mean today Today is January 20th. We have until the 31st. We have 11 more days. And so I'm like, oh, let's get it done. Oh. First stop, Lowe's. Let's see if I can find everything here. Okay, so here's a pea trap. I think this one will work. <laughs> let's hope. Okay, here's what I got. Another outlet box. This is a valve for the sink because we kind of broke one a p-trap and an internal pipe cutter i didn't get everything on my list we actually need to get more cement board and all that stuff but i'm rushing home because a house in our neighborhood that my parents have been wanting to look at all week the guy finally got back to us that they can go look at it right now so i want to go see it and i'll come back here later to get the rest of the stuff wow love the orange right there super cool oh my god this is really nice They've got concrete floors. I'm obsessed with the fireplace, love that. This kitchen is so cool, you guys, because this is how the kitchens originally were in these houses. This, These might actually be the original cabinets and they're in pretty good shape. So that's kind of cool to have the original, actually. You don't see that anymore, really. And I actually like them. Like this is a style that is pretty timeless. I like the wood in here. It definitely fits the vibe. Okay, let's go over here. Check out this room. They've got like a window film, so it's not super bright in these. Pretty minimal in there. This bathroom looks like it was remodeled at one point. So that's good. Got a stool sink. Love this room. So this house is super similar to our house. Wow, this room is so awesome. Ooh, and this bathroom gets 
amazing light. I want to like measure this. This seems like a little more than two feet. Maybe that's the kind of shower glass I ordered. I don't even know. This is a step down shower. This is what we're going to have. And a niche over here. So cool. I wish our lighting was like this though. Okay, that house we looked at, everyone loved. It's amazing, it's so cool, location is awesome. Everything about it, truly, is great, but it is pricey. We're going to look at one more house that they're interested in that is like half the price in a different part of the Coachella Valley. So let's go take a look. Big laundry room, here's the dining room and the kitchen. I could totally see my parents here. It just feels very homey, honestly. And then nice living room, living area. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Little nook. Ooh, that is a nice slab. Yeah. You've always wanted a copper sink? Well, there you go. Um, this is a pretty cool stone. I think that looks good. The only thing I don't love in here is these this lighting, but that could be changed. But like, that's a pretty nicely newly done shower. Love that it's got lighting. Here's the primary room. Okay, nice lighting in here. It's a nice little slab. I would personally reface these if possible, but I think my parents would be fine with them. They're not gonna do that. I just love the windows and how you can see that tree. It's super bright. And nice big room. Really, really good size. I like how they have that everywhere. This is the guest bedroom. Awesome lighting. Super cool. There's also a little sunroom that could totally fit a Murphy bed. So if they have more people, I'll show you. So over here, this is the sunroom. <gasps> he loves it. He loves it. I want to see more of the community because there's like a golf course. There's a community pool. There's a gym. What's the HOA? 361. 361 for all those amenities. That's kind of crazy. Some of them are like 500 a month with no amenities. Pretty cool and they'd have their own pool. I actually think this is a good fit for them. I really do. This could be a Murphy bed. Mom, what do you think of it? It's amazing. It is nice, right? It's very nice. It's very it's homey. So much more than the others that we've looked at. I like that you've got a yard. We should go check out the community pool and stuff. Yeah. Honestly, I agree. I would like visiting my parents at. Like it's just know. like, it just has that cozy, yeah. homey like yeah. feel. We really hit the home run in terms of getting help in Home Depot. Two ladies like ourselves, they look at us and they're like, what do you need help with? So we got everything we need, so we can head back. Back from a successful house hunt. I didn't think we were doing that today, but it seems like they found one that they actually want to make an offer on. So that's cool. I'm gonna open up this package. But yeah, that means we did not get much done on the bathroom today, really nothing yet, but we're going to the shower head. I decided to go with a Delta brand shower head because that's the brand of valve that we have. So just to ensure everything fits. Oh, so good. here is the shower head and valve. I think it looks nice. It's Delta. Yep. Oh good. So that's all it is. To... Yeah. So it should fit fine. And so uh, test the depth and everything. Mmm, a beer. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Successful house hunting though. Yeah. Very. I hope we can get it. I think I'd be happy. Right, so new shower head will go up there. All right, so there is the shower head. It's always nice yeah. to have a new one. Okay, first time testing the water. Testing our plumbing. Now, we don't have Teflon tape up, so expect some little leaks or whatever. Oh, really? Okay, that'll do that. Hey, that's the shower. See, oh, yeah. yeah. We're it, gonna stop it right there. Wait, it was leaking over yeah, there. Yeah, that's not tight. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. So, I unfortunately have to return this sink I ordered. I've been really procrastinating doing this, but it's getting to that point where I almost can't anymore. As much as I try and I plan and I measure things like 10 times, things don't end up working out. And this one didn't because that original vanity that was being custom made, they weren't able to make it in time and it was being made to this measurement. But the new vanity I ordered came with a sink top. So sadly, I have to return this one, even though it is a really cool sink. Let's do it. <laughs> I need my mom's help with this one. It's a two-person job. All right, that new outdoor light is here. Let's open it up. It's more of a Scots look and they are the warm toned lights. So I think this will look a lot nicer outside. It kind of adjusts. You can go like that. And then this right here is the motion sensor. Pretty nifty. 